So first I want to thank everybody who sent in videos or links to videos or audio of dogs doing a soft woof. In last week's devlog I mentioned that we're having a hard time finding a good soft woof which uh, your wolf can use in the game to send your pups into the den. And a lot of people respond, and I really appreciate that. And in fact, one person sent in a very nice, clean, close up recording of their dog doing a couple of these very distinctive soft woofs, and they're great. So, thank you, Roscoe the Dog, now in the credits for Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition, for your service in providing a good soft woof. And on many other fronts as well, we're making good progress. I keep seeing this every week, but it's true. And I thought it'd be fun this time just to go through the build notes from yesterday's beta build and uh, just give you an idea of the wide variety of things that we have to worry about and figure out and fix up to get the game in shape. Let's take a look here. So in this build, there are a couple of new things, some tutorial tips for mate commands. That's what I showed last week and uh, pup interactions. So Andre got those set up and also added some notifications when in the established territory mission, you're looking for a den, there's a little den radar that says there's a nearby den. And so we need a notification explaining that. If you are marking your territory on the outer fringes of the map where there aren't any dens and you're in stranger territory, pretty deep in stranger territory, we wanted to um, alert you that that's not really a good place to be establishing your territory. And something else here, which I don't wanna show right now. And then lots of improvements, Tommy, did actually an overhaul of the predator attacks on your den and pups a few days ago and has just been finishing that up. Some of these rock dens, they're, you know, up against a hillside and you really have no visibility of that upper area up the hill behind the den. So Tommy set up some vantage points where um, little spots in that periphery around your den area, but all in view because of course, if they can't see the den entrance and they can't see the pups, then that's not very helpful to them. It's also not very helpful if you're trying to stay on the alert and keep an eye out for predators. So we've got these vantage points set up where everybody can see each other if they're watching. And then a bunch of other improvements here, simplifying the rules for when competitors are drawn to the den, tweaking the odds for stranger attacks. Now, uh, the fact that you have claimed a piece of territory, a hex, matters more and the quality of that territory matters less, which has come into play in uh, beta testing because some testers really want to keep their territory quality high. Um, which is understandable, but it's actually not that necessary and you're gonna really have a hard time keeping up with all your other things you have to do, taking care of your pups, if you do that. And so we're doing that and a couple other changes now as well to make that clearer, both in terms of the, the risk of strangers coming in as well as the, the clarity of when it's important to go out and, and uh, reinforce your territory. And some other things with predator attacks. And then Tommy, he was uh, kind of on a roll. He made a bunch of improvements to mate and pup AI. Uh, we had a little behavior in there where the if there's predators coming around, the pups would find a parent and follow them, seek parent protection, which makes sense, but it was actually a problem because you're trying to chase off the predators and the pup just stays right behind you, which means they're getting too close to the predator and that really wasn't real desirable. So Tommy removed that. Pups are not allowed to die. So Tommy texts me the other day. He says, like, should pups be able to die when they're in the den? I'm like, huh, I hadn't thought about that. And that generated, you know, a 10 minute conversation about, should they be able to die when they're in the den? Should they be able to die when they're entering or exiting the den? Of course, if they do that, they're, they're going to block it. Um, so other pups can't get in or out, and that's a problem. And then if they don't die when they go in the den, then if they're starving, which hopefully won't happen much, but if they are starving and they come out, are they gonna die, like keel over like five seconds later? Seems a little weird. So every little thing needs thinking and design work and then implementation, and hopefully not too much revision after that. Remove the mate and pup circling. We had a neat little behavior there, but um, it needs some special animations and some special thinking to figure out how to make it look right. So we had to remove it for now. Personality effect, making the energetic mates more eager to go hunting than lazy mates. And if a mate does go off on a solo excursion to mark territory, now they'll prioritize the hexes near the den, which are more important in terms of uh, keeping a strong territory and keeping those predator, keeping those stranger wolves from coming in for your pups. And then while he was doing all that and Andre was setting up all those uh, tips and notifications, I was working on the world. I made five more dens. We've got a couple new dirt hole in the ground dens. And I finally got around to making new versions of the old Saddle Meadows and Aspen Heights den. Let's take a look at one of those. Here is the new Saddle Meadows den. It's not exactly the same, but, but it's pretty close to the same place and, and a similar idea. While I was working there in Aspen Heights, I realized that we needed some of those big rocky outcrops. Um, I had not gotten around to that, so I added some more of those. 
we were showing pup icons on the map, but we decided to disable those for reasons I don't want to explain right now. When you uh, finish establishing your territory, then you find a den, and then, similar to the old game, your pups are born, and we decided to be nice. We're going to be nice guys here and refill your food and sleep meters when the pups are born. Because as good parents, you probably would have gone out and eaten your fill and caught up on your sleep because you know you're not going to be able to do that once the pups arrive. So we decided to do that for you. And then a bunch of bugs too. So this was a particularly productive couple of days, I thought. And so kind of fun to just to show a tiny slice of the many, many, many different things, big and small, that we are working on as we uh, test and tweak and tune and refine the upcoming Slew Creek episode of Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition. Mm -hmm.